Why won't these peel off? They just sent me a piece of paper. There's no stickers on here. Hello everyone, welcome back to another quick tip. I'm James with Motion RC, and today we're gonna to be talking about water slide decals. A little problem you just saw is a problem we get in customer service where people will, uh, you know, they never experienced water slide decals before, so they can't peel them off. They think something's wrong. Maybe the sticker sheet is wrong, but uh, we're here to show you how easy it is to apply water slide decals to uh, any real model, whether it's plastic, foam. Today we have the Flightline P51 Mustang. Comes with a water slide decal set that you have before you, and we have everything you need to get the job done. So I say, let's show you how to apply some water slide decals. So the things you're going to need for this process are gonna be obviously a set of water slide decals. Then you're gonna need some lukewarm water. You're gonna need a razor blade of some sort and obviously the model that you want to apply it to. So first things first with water slide decals, what you want to do is actually individually cut out each decal. So I'm going to start with the US Insignia or the roundel that I'm going to put on the wing of this P51. So now what I want to do is I make a generic cut around Now get the decal out and then I can get rid of this paper for, uh, for this purpose. So now what I also want to do then, you can see if you look in the light, you'll see sort of where the decal ends with the paper. It's hard to show. But what I want to do is just cut around it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just close enough where again, the idea with water slide is that these stickers, once water is applied, they will slide off the paper. So you want to get it as close to the top. So like this roundel, I'm going to slide off that way. So I'll just make, a, in essence, an outline cut around. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And obviously, just don't cut your decal. Get rid of the excess. And there we have our decal. So the next step you're going to do is take your decal then, and you're going to place it in the water. And what you want to do is submerge it, and then you're going to wait about one to three minutes, it depends, but we can check. All right, so now you could check your decal to make sure that it's, it's, uh, it's ready to be applied by very easily, point down, taking your two thumbs underneath and then sliding the decal. If you see it start sliding, that means it's ready. Like right now it's sliding on one side, you could see there, but it's still a bit stuck there, so I'm gonna keep it in there for another couple seconds. So now we can check it. Now the way you check, just if it starts sliding, you should be good to go. Now you see, all edges are starting to slide perfectly and it's ready to slide off the paper. So what I do now is go back to your model quick and let's figure out where we're gonna place the decal. So on the wing of the P51, we know this top of the star goes to the top of the wing and we're gonna put it right here between these pa this panel line on here. So what I wanna do is prep that area. So I take my finger I put a little bit of water and I rub the entire area with water. What this is going to allow you to do is once the decal goes onto the model and off the backing paper, then you're going to have time to be able to then slide the decal like its name, water slide. You're going to be able to slide it around and get it in the right position before uh, it ever dries, ready to go. So now we're going to apply. So what I do, I find my point, I slowly slide the decal off nice and easy. And once you get to a point where you can maybe get a finger or so onto the uh, decal like this, then you just slowly pop, peel the, the backing off and there you go. Now with the decal, you can see I do have some creases, but the beauty is I can now work those out and reposition, make sure it's straight. You see the decal will slide along the, the foam now that there's water underneath. So that's exactly what you want. So I'll get it in the right position. I think that's good and straight, looks good to me. And then last step is taking either a paper towel or a cloth. And what I like to do is just dab. Dab the water out, press on the decal with the damp cloth. You don't wanna to rub too much cause you can rip the decal. So you don't wanna do that. But the beauty about water slides, even if you do get a tear, they're very easy to fix as long as they're still wet. You can pretty much line them up um, and you'll almost never notice. You'll know it's there, but other people won't. So then you press it in and then you can also work the decal from the inside out with your thumb. So 
So get any excess water that's underneath. Give it another dab. There you go, guys. And that is how you apply a water slide decal. So now what you're gonna wanna do is let that sit for 15, 20, 30 minutes. You're not gonna touch it, let it dry. And once it's fully dry, she's not gonna go anywhere for you. So guys, I hope that helps you out with water slide decals. If you ever run into them, they are super simple. And actually they're some of my favorite decals to apply. But all you basically do is follow those steps and you're gonna have a lot of success. If you have any ideas for any more tips that you wanna see on our YouTube channel, uh, leave a comment in the description below. Links to any products we use in this video are in the description. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time with another quick tip, Motion RC.